Sure, it's also you know an interesting uh, observation that uh, critics make uh, that the diaspora is so popular across the world, not just in America, that there are more and more opposition leaders within the country, within India, who are looking to tap into the potential of uh, the Indian Americans or Indian Australians or Indian British people. Uh, case in point. Uh, you know, one particular politician then reaching out to the diaspora, not just not just by way of speaking, not just by way of speaking to at at at, at the top universities, but also uh, reaching out to the local people. You know, the truck drivers. Uh, you know, the people who are are uh, the the common people, the locals in America who contribute to the GDP, who contribute to what America stands for. Uh, Ma'am, uh, diaspora may be one of the important factors, but one of the most important factor, factor uh, whatever I am going to analyze and other panelists, they are not going to explore this thing. See, particularly this is the history of India. You say if we talk about the uh, King Ashoka, uh, his uh, son and daughter visited to so many countries, as well as you can say diaspora or Indian people, they were living across the world in USA, UK also. But why Vivekanand traveled <laughs> there at Chicago? That was the historic speech. The question is that what Modi or India is doing, this is one point we have to understand. And the second point is even the diaspora Indians were available in America, but America and European country, they were not very much focused over India. Why they have started even people to people contact, why the American or British people or so many other foreign countries, uh, native people, they uh, they, they are getting attraction towards the India. The reason, the first point, why Mr. Modi or India is doing all these things? As we know that India is a soft power. And for the first time, the world is witnessing, I am witnessing, you are wit witnessing that what is the hardcore outcome or result of India's soft power. India was soft power only in books, in magazines, but nobody never utilized. Even if you say after Vivekanand or King Ashoka or in history, it was well utilized and that's why India was getting the benefit in terms of being a Vishwa Guru, in terms of knowledge, in terms of education, in terms of business, in terms of medicine, medical science, each and everything. We know that war is not a solution or muscle power or economic power, it is not a solution. America, it is one of the biggest economy, but they are also facing the problem and they have started to realize it only the economic power or military power it is not sufficient to make our society more and more better here comes the role of value ethics and some such kind of the civilization which can provide a support ethical support the moral support the soft power of course uh, you can say the, the um, military tie-ups, uh, uh, tools and technology, technology transfer, getting the factory, bringing the factory in India for the production, all these are the secondary things. Of course, why not before 20 years America was uh, going to provide all some such kind of the facilities, why not other worlds, other leading countries, Islamic countries, they were not providing some such kind of the facility to the India for the first time, the other side of Indian plan was never turned up, never tossed. This is for the first time when India and Indian Prime Minister, if he is visiting from one country to another country, each and every Islamic country or uh, European country, it means for the first time the soft power side of the Indian plan is going to be turned up, turned up as well as it is going to be shown to the world, entire world. And now the, with amazing, it, it's an amazing thing that entire world is going to know that what they can achieve by means of getting gelled up with the soft power, how India is important, India was important thousand year back for the entire globe, India is important for entire globe, so many other countries and India will be. Okay. This is the time okay. when okay. we All are right. going to uh, turn You made the your time. point sir, A.K. Mishra, and then and the Karnataka yeah. elections are a case in point. Quickly, uh, A.K. Mishra, yes. last word from you, 30 seconds, how, how do you envisage India-US relations and how important is that, that Indian diaspora become? in uh, building this association to greater levels? Indian person who is living abroad, that is the brand ambassador for India. This is not only the question that Mr. Modi is working hard or we or you people are working hard. Every Indian who is living outside India, he is playing his role well as a brand ambassador for India on day to day basis, 24 into 7 hour into 365 days. This is one important thing. The second important thing, why the tie-up between USA and India, it is very much important not only for two countries but also for, you can say, more than 200 countries of entire world. Because of USA, of course, it is one of the biggest military might as well as the economic 
might as well as you can say the in field of technology but india it is also having a talent pool as well as the biggest market if these two power one soft power as well as you can say america that is also a hard power or soft power whatever you want to call you can call if they are going to get unite uh, definitely for entire world a new kind of the dimension will be developed and we can say that for vasudhaiv kutumbakam type of the concept it may be feasible on this earth okay. and what the prime minister okay all right all right exactly. fair enough